This is another quite similar question that generally you see in your examination. Let me try to read this first and we'll discuss further, right? The question is saying if the nth term of an arithmetic sequence is 4, common difference of the sequence is 2, and the sum of the nth terms is minus 14, then find the first term and the n. All right. So whatever is the question, does it matter? I have told you the four step. All right. Two, three, four. First step, write given things. You know, always and always write given things. And second step is formulate the given things. All right. Formulate given things. And the fourth step is solving that, solving to, solving to get unknown value, get a non value that's a fourth step and fourth one give the solution to the question you know get the desired value all right get the desired answer get the desire get the desired uh, answer answer of your question all right get the desired answer of your question you're in the sense here what the question is actually asking us all right this four step again we're going to solve it only this four step for every type of the question all right look at here how I'm going to solve by this following this four step so nth term of an arithmetic sequence is 4. So I have been given nth term. So a n is given 4. And further, the common difference of the sequence is 2. Means the common difference d is given to be 2. And the sum of the n terms is given 14. Again, we are given sum of n terms as a 14. And now find the uh, first term and the common difference uh, and, and the n terms. All right. So what is a? What is and we need to find out these two things. So before finding do these two things, we need to follow. We, we finish the first term. We write all the given things. And now we're going to solve this. Uh, we're going, going for the step two. And the step two is formulate the given things. Okay. So we are given two things that can we that, that we can formulate. That is sum of n term. Uh, that is nth term, general term. And another is sum of n terms. So first I'm going to formulate uh, nth term formula. Right. So uh, nth term formula or the general term formula in arithmetic sequence is a plus n minus 1 times d. From here, let me put the value of n term that is 4. And the first term we don't know. Neither we know the n term. So n minus 1. And we know the common difference that's 2. Uh, so it's going to be 4 plus 2 equals to a plus 2n. And here I'm going to get uh, 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 a equals to 4 plus 2 that is 6 and I'm, I'm putting this 2n into another side so it will be minus 2n all right and now uh, let's formulate the other things that we are given sum of n terms sn is actually n over 2 twice of a n minus 1 times d okay so sum of n terms that is uh, I think minus 14 it is given right uh, yeah minus 14 it is let's put the value minus 14 so minus 14 and n you don't know so let's put n over 2 twice of a but you know recently we find out the value of a as a 6 minus 2n so I'm going to put as a 6 minus 2n the value of a we put from here and then it is n minus 1 times the d and the common difference we know already the common difference is 2 here all right it's 2 my dear friend okay so now 14 will be multiplied by 2 this will be minus 28 and this is n and then 2 will multiply the 6 you'll get 12 and then 2 times 2 you'll get 4n and again this 2 will multiply this n you'll get twice of n minus 2 okay it's minus 28 let's try to solve first inside the bracket it's uh, plus 12 and minus 2 so I can easily write here now plus 10 minus minus 4n plus 2n so minus 2n so it's minus 2n all right times this n Okay, so let me uh, first uh, uh, write this minus 28 and it's going to be 10n and minus 2n square. So now I'm bringing this both into one side so that I can get a quadratic equation based on n. So it's going to be 2n square minus 10n minus 28 equals to 0. I'm going to take the two common here and I will get n square minus 5n. Uh, minus 14 equals to 0 and I will get here n square minus 5n minus 14 equals to 0 and now we need to get we need to find out simply this solution of this quadratic equation as an all right and there are a lot of methods a lot of lot of factorization method middle term splitting method formula method many methods whatever you like you do it 
uh, I'm going to do now middle term splitting method because I got the two numbers whose product is the coefficient of n square and 14 that's minus 14 all right we need to choose any two numbers you know a and b we need to choose such that their product is minus 14 and the sum of those numbers should be the coefficient of n that is minus 5 and I got those number that's minus 7 and 2 the product of minus 7 and 2 you'll get minus 14 and if you add minus 7 and 2 you'll get minus 5 so perfect let's go in n squared minus 7n plus 2n minus 14 equals to 0 so here I'm going to take n common I'll get n minus 7 here I'm going to take 2 common here I'll get n minus 7 equals to 0 and further here also n minus 7 here also n minus 7 so I can take the common n minus 7 and then I'll be left with n plus 2 equals to 0 so from here there are two possibilities of getting n either we'll get either n minus 7 equals to 0 or you'll get n plus 2 equals to 0 so n will be 7 from here or n will be minus 2 here and n is a positive integer it's a number of terms in the sequence so it cannot be negative it can't be negative it can't be negative all right so our value of n we get that 7 all right and the third step we finished what I had told you in the third step solve the two I mean the second step uh, was uh, formulate the given things the after formulating here and here we need to solve it, you know, as I told you, we need to solve it and get the unknown value. So unknown value was here A and N. We did it and we find the value of first N, that's 7. And now let's write the value of A. And that's 6 minus 2 times N. And the value of N is 7. So it's going to be 6 minus 14. And that's going to be minus 8. All right. So this is how we find out the value of A as well as N in this uh, equation. So first term we get as a minus 8 and term we get as a 7. I hope you understand the way we solve it. You know, always try to follow these four steps. That's definitely going to help you. All right.